Saturday. Yeah, so we were able to finish everything up and get it ready for the dyno. So we have the turbo intake installed. We've got the charge pipe uh, installed on the turbo. Uh, Radiant Engineering Universal Catch Can that we have mounted and plumbed up. Um, and then uh, that is pretty much it. Checked over a couple things. Did some, uh, some tuning, some couple data logs on the street, make sure everything was working and was good. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything checks out, so we'll put her on the dyno and see what kind of power she makes. I would expect with this setup and this turbo, eh, somewhere around 350 at the wheels. Yeah, stock, um, stock, right? Stock engine. Yeah, completely, completely stock. Um, uh, so, just yeah, some, stock injectors? No, no. It's got the Nismo 740 CC injectors. Okay. And then uh, fuel pump? Stock? Uh, I don't remember what fuel pump's in it. It might be a. Uh, 255. Okay, so a little bit more fuel. Um, what's going to hold it back? Like, what will be the... I'm sorry, let me just... Like, where is she? Hey, Get inside. Go. Don't look at me like that. Let's go. Sorry, before I was rudely interrupted. Um, like, what, what will hold it back, you think? Uh, probably won't run out of fuel, right? Won't run out of turbo. No, no, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be make what it makes, and that's what's what it is. If you ever wants to turn it up, then probably some sort of alternative fuel, or you know, you know eighteen, <laughs> maybe twenty pounds, and see what it makes. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what this little guy got. I feel like we got three seventy five out of that other stock SR, um, but I think it was on ethanol. The uh, blue 240 was an S13. Dark blue S13. It's an SR20. I think it did 375. Oh, yeah, that was on, yeah, that was on ethanol. Um, no, it did on 400. Did it? Yeah. And that was stock. It was like 420, completely stock uh, S13. Yeah, so the fuel is what the fuel is what uh, helps give it that little boost because the engine should be okay, right? Uh, I mean, they start to become a game boy at that part. Of like four, kind of yeah, like I mean, the... yeah. I mean, generally, you know, I mean, with with good supporting mods and good tuning and stuff, um, they'll you know generally take the power pretty well and last. But you know, there's these engines are starting to get old. Um, there's no telling what kind of condition you're getting them in. So I mean, when do you start to lift the head? <laughs> That's my question. I mean, uh, we've done 420, like I said, stock everything. So, um, you know, manage, managing the torque so it doesn't come on too hard and, you know, start breaking shit and uh, making sure that the tune is good so you're not, you know, pinging or running on the ragged edge. Well, it's um, got, <clears throat> you're running the link, so. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so you shouldn't have a problem tuning. No, no. Tuning wise, no, everything should be pretty straightforward yeah. and, and you know, work as it should. Yeah. These were just my questions. I'm just wondering because it's always, it's always intriguing when it's a stock engine. Like, um, I know each of them have their like weak points. Um, but yeah, you still get pretty good power out of it though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally, you end up lifting the head first. Um, this is usually what what I end up going first. Um, I mean, because even what Christians, we did gun power like stock did bottom end. It was like five, five something. Yeah, that was stock, ridiculous. Stock uh, bottom end. Well, he had head studs. Yeah, just head studs and MLS gas. I think the first time he had the eBay head studs because the. Yeah, AMP, that's right. They did. The genuine AMP did were lift. back order. I remember so it did lift. It I mean, to be fair, that was a situation where it was like full send. We wanted to see. He wanted to see. Uh, what did we do? <laughs> that was pretty incredible. Are you still driving it today? Yeah, what? No. I don't think so. Yeah, he just had a story up last night of it driving, and I commented, I was like, that jumps slow. I thought something happened to it recently. No. No. Okay. No. If you see this, Christian, let us know if you're still driving it. Yeah. If Edgar's full of dookie. No, I, I literally still <laughs> Could, Yeah, okay, okay. I'm not, I feel like, I mean, I'll show you the setup. Um, I'll, I'll show you Christians. I'm sure I still have something. It's a Bluetooth dash, so uh, it's hard to forget that car. <laughs> it's a S14. Yeah, see, I, I replied to a story and I said slow. 
What is it? He said, stop, I can't do more. It's going to blow up. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So it's still running. <laughs> so it's okay. still running. Is it? So yeah. it hasn't blown up yet. Wait, wait, can we see the story? I, I guess he picked up. No, it's already gone. Oh, okay. I guess he also picked up an S13, and that's his new daily. So oh, he's okay. got something else. Nice. But. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, so we'll see Pump Gas Tune. And then I guess um, Leo's going to pick it up and take it to pain or figure out something to pain. I don't know. Yeah. We got Eli here today, Edgar's brother. Let's see if you could tell. Do they look alike? <laughs> Spark plugs? Yeah. Tweak the plugs. Yeah, I'm sure it's spark plug, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha 